Welcome to you by DJSPRC. We have the Creality NR3 Max here uh, with a couple of upgrades on it, just one or two. Mm. One of the upgrades I just did recently that I wanted to show uh, is some say you don't really need it, some say it's easy, some say this, some say that. It's, it is what it is. Is about the filament holder. I do have one here, it's on bearings. Uh, but what I always hated is you decide to do a print and let's say it's a 24 hours print or even a 12 hour print. When you're slicing it with your preference of slicer, I use, um, see, I even forgot the slicer they use, but I use one of the newest ones. Uh, <laughs> and basically it tells you how much filament you need. To do your print and let's say i don't know you want to print this vase here and it says it's uh, 1.75 gram now you're going to say to yourself okay i want to print it and let's use this my red here as an example i want to print in red i have no clue how much it's left on the roll itself There's a couple of ways. I can use a scale and scale it. Yeah, I could. But Creality makes something that helps you even better. I have the Creality 3D Digital Spool Rack. Saw this. I said, why not? Not expensive at all. Went out and grabbed it. Let's open it and see what's inside. Oh, and the other thing too, before I open this, yes, some will say is, there is scales on the side of your, uh, your certain of your spool that tells you what's left in it. I don't trust these scales, like at all. You could get a, a good approximate, but I say, yeah, no. Let's open it this, put this aside. You'll have a bag of screws and uh, inset nuts because it does provide you a bracket to put on top. Then you should be able to put this right here. Boom. But I have a bracket that I made that I got on uh, Thingiverse to relocate the stock spool holder to the top. We take the spool holder out and it is on bearings that I like because the one I have here that I printed off, it is on bearings too. What you do is unscrew the back, you remove this nut that we don't need. Or should I say I don't need for the stock spool holder. If you are using the uh, metal bracket, yes, you will need it to the back of it. With the stock one, I don't need. I'm just going to twist this one, remove it. And like I said, this is on bearings too. Those bearings side. This again, I got on Thingiverse. And this is battery operated. There is a USB-C right here. It comes with a USB-C wire. That's what I have hanging in the back here. Come on. When I need to charge it, I just plug it in my Raspberry Pi, charges it. I think it charges roughly about in an hour-ish. And how long it, it's good depends how, how, how long do you print for. Insert it in the spool holder. Turn it until I see my screen straight. Like I said, these parts I don't need. Just put them aside. Now, 
To make this guy work, it's super easy. There's a couple of ways you can use it. Uh, if you press it on once on the face, it'll put itself to zero. If you read the Curality booklet, what it tells you to do is grab an empty spool, okay? The same one you're gonna put on it. And it's gonna say how much it weighs. It is 136. What they say to do is double press on it or double tap to put it back to zero. Now you remove it, put that one aside, grab the spool you want to put on, and it tells you how much is left. 36, 36 grams. That's left on my red PLA. Now, there's another way you could do it again. Put this guy back to zero. And let's grab my Creality Ultra PLA. Turn it back on. You just double tap on it, it'll turn on. Let it to calibrate itself. There to go. It's at zero. Put the spool on it. So that's 1051 mm, grams. Now, if you know the weight of your spool by itself, you could just basically take 1051 minus what you know what the empty spool weighs. That's what I did. On uh, this one here, I measured 135 grams, 135 grams uh, that I know. Certain of these spools that I have on top here, I know the physical measurement of the spool itself empty. Then I just deduct what's on. Now, while it's turning, let's turn it back on. It does auto shot itself off when it doesn't notice any uh, movement. But while you're printing, it will sense the uh, vibration and the weight changing. Let's say you put on it. And while it's turning, I mean, I'm turning it fast and vibrating at the same time. It will tell you how much is left. Then you'll come back to your printer. You're going to say, oh, I have 950 left. I know how much I use. It's kind of gimmicky. But I like it and I do, I do enjoy it. Now, if you guys have any ca cautions, hey, okay, hey, there you go, cautions. If you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. It does help the channel a lot, and I do appreciate it. Thank you for watching.